Good afternoon, butterflies. This is, ugh, I've been drinking wine, sorry. This is your girl, Madam Butterfly, a.k.a. Sharon K. Griffin. So, I had a conversation with my girlfriend, um, or my friend girl, because you know some of y'all might get that twisted. Um, but we were talking about, well, I was sharing with her the fact that I love my home. My home is phenomenal. But I want a bigger house. And some of you might say, well, bitch, you ungrateful. No, I'm really not ungrateful. The thing is, um, God places things in us or in our heart, and we know that we're meant to go to another level. Now, I am not saying that I'm going to another level tomorrow. Or the next week. However, I will say that we don't know when things are going to change instantaneously because things do change and miracles do exist. And I believe that as people, we can ask spirit, God, whatever you want to call it, for anything. And I think that spirit delivers. Now, I'm going to take you back. I think it was three or four years ago. Some of you were on my journey with this. Um, but you didn't know this. July 26, some years ago, which is my birthday, <clears throat> I was looking at my dream board. And the thing on my dream board, it said I wanted to tone my body. I wanted to be able to do 100 push-ups. Yeah, it was push-ups, not sit-ups. And I wanted a tummy tuck. Now... Out the blue on that same day, and I still have the inbox message, someone sent me a message from Spain and said, looking for celebrity in Spain, <clears throat> excuse me, looking for celebrity, excuse me, um, will train in Spain physical fitness. And I was like, okay, so what I said to them is, who do, you, who do you want and what's your budget? Because I know that's a question that people in the entertainment industry always ask. So they said, well, we don't have a budget. We can't pay anything. Um, however, we can house them, feed them, and train them. And I said, again, what is your budget? We don't have a budget. I said, well, if I can help you, I will. So I'm sitting on a bed, and Spirit says, well, you're a local celebrity in Atlanta. You're known for the show Preacher's Exes. So let me tell you about Preacher's Exes real quick. It's a reality show um, that I created back in 2013. It didn't get picked up, but I got major notoriety from that. Basically, on every um, show that you can imagine they were talking about that. We were number one on Michael Baston. I was interviewed on Fox News Radio, among other ones. Like, people were getting my phone number. I don't even know how the fuck they were getting my phone number, They, but they were calling me for interviews. So if you want to Google it, you can. So anyway, um, so Spirit said to me, well, you're a local celebrity in Atlanta. Won't you go? And I said, okay. So I got back on Facebook on my fan page. And I put, um, I'm a local celebrity in the Atlanta area. I'm known for the show Preacher's Exes. I don't want to lose weight because I'm already thin. Um, but I would like to tone my body. Bam. So no response. So like an hour later, I saw that they actually saw the message because Facebook shows you everything. So I said, okay. So I hit them back up and said, are you interested? Um, and they said, we are discussing it. That was powerful in itself. So anyway, um, I waited and they, they responded and they said that they were interested in me coming and that it was okay for me to tone my body. That was July 26 of that particular year. In October, I was in Spain, October to January. Um, I was in Spain two months, I toned, and then I had surgery. Um, but yes, that's how spirit works in my life. And I have so many stories just like that about how spirit does things. So back to my original thing. No, I'm not ungrateful for the things that I have because 
I am really blessed. I have to say that. If you know my testimony, the things that I have been through in life, OMG, God, spirit, whatever you want to call it, is so freaking phenomenal to me. But anyway, so yeah, I'm looking around and I'm like, okay, God, I thank you for this. But the crazy thing is a lot of things that I think about, I don't say to anyone. I'll keep it in my heart and I'll just talk to God about it um, or I'll write it down. So last Saturday, we're riding past these really, really, really big homes, mansions. Like I want maid quarters. I want chefs. I want maids. Like really, that's what I want. Um, some of you, I know you're probably saying, you know, well, why do you want that? Well, let me tell you this. Um, in the Bible, it talks about when we pass or the streets paved with gold and the mansions in, in the sky. No. All right. Maybe it do exist. I don't know. I don't care. I want my shit on earth. Yes, I motherfucking do. So that's why I want big stuff because I don't know if there's really mansions in the sky and streets paved with gold. And the streets paved with gold, I can't chip the gold away and I can't make no money. I can't do anything. Maybe I can glide on them. I don't know. But I want my stuff here on earth. And I believe that God, that spirit, whatever you want to call it, Muhammad, Muhammad Buddha, whatever it is to you, um, I believe it's ours. I do, and that's how I live my life, and that's how I get so many things. Like, people always ask me, how do you do this? I'll say, Spirit told me. Like, really, Spirit told me. You know, so I'm here to encourage you that you can have anything that you want to. Any, 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 anything that you want to in life. So I just wanted to give you a little station break and come live to you on uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is. I'm gonna post this social media um, and let you know that anything you want is yours. Now, some of you might say, well, I want it now. Well, sometimes it just don't come now. Sometimes you just gotta wait a little bit for some shit. Why? Because you aren't prepared for it right now. Because if you get it right now, you might fuck it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the truth. Like some things that in the past that I prayed for, I'm thinking, damn, I would have made a fool of myself. I would have messed up not only my life and career, but other people's lives. So girlfriend, boyfriend, friend, friend, friend of a friend, you got this and spirit has you so if you want to start a business if you want a bigger house um whatever it is you want to write a book whatever it is you can do it so i'm excited about my life i'm excited about my husband he is so phenomenal and i thank god for him he's so amazing um and god gave him to me and before i met him i was playing the song on the ocean i was actually in dominican republic i was there for five weeks. How did I get there? I prayed one night. I was like, all right, spirit, where we going? I heard, literally, I was looking in the corner. I heard in the dark, I was looking in the corner. I heard the DR. I'm like, what the fuck is the DR? But um, I learned the next day it was the, the, the Dominican Republic. I booked a trip, five weeks. I met him my fifth week, fifth week, uh, fifth week, too much wine. My fifth week and his third or fourth day it was his third day in the dr yes crazy thing we share the same birthday crazy thing his wife that passed away she transitioned into the next place um she used to do coaching and, and motivational speaking same stuff that i do is that a coincidence no spirit aligned that and the crazy thing my nickname Shay, C-H-E, is her name. Yeah, spirit does all things well. And people don't be believing me, but I'm telling you, this shit really works. So thank you for tuning in. Um, you can go to my YouTube page, all those other things, Sharon K. Griffin, everything is Sharon K. Griffin. 
I love you. Have a blessed, blessed day.